Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do is do a read for you and who and the who could be a friend or family member, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, a person of interest or if love is not on the brain, even one side of a situation or another, okay? So uh, that being said, this is a general read. So if you're looking for a personal read that truly taps into your own personal energies, go to theguidedintuitive.com up here or my description box, okay? I want to thank all of you that have been booking coaching sessions with me, all of you that have been booking uh, programs with me. I have been, it has been such a pleasure to be a part of your, your journey, your transition, your transformation. It is just, oh my gosh, it's just amazing to, to really see some of those big changes come through. Some of you I'm helping out with your, uh, with of course, your uh, uh, your spiritual business, which is really amazing and helping you jumpstart that and get going, which has been exciting. Um, and it's, it's so beautiful because you all have your own unique talents and it. You, you want to use the different you know platforms, the different ways of doing things that really speak to that. And that's what I work with you on. Okay. It's about combining the soul side of things. Yes. But also so the strategy side, which I have in terms of my other business, and I, I actually combine them together. And uh, that's what truly brings change, right? So it's only when you feel that you can no longer stay at the status quo and staying at the status quo is worse than the fear of wanting to change. That, my friend, is when uh, things happen. That's where the magic happens on that other side of that, right? So on the other side of fear is truly where your happiness is. And, and that's exactly um, what I help work with you on. So if a lot of you are kind of maybe going through some sort of change, transition, and maybe it's a little foggy for you, maybe feeling a sense of anxiety, um, you know, just a little confusion and a little bit of fear moving forward, you definitely want to book a discovery session up here. It's also my description box that allows some one-on-one -on -one time together, allows us to get to know each other and then make a recommendation that is best for you if we're a good fit, okay? And then invite you into one of our programs, all right? So do check that out. Uh, let's go ahead and see where you're at right now, Capricorn. Where are you at right now, okay? I'm going to focus on you on one side and the other person over here. Here, uh, Feel free to reverse the messages as you see fit. You might resonate with this side more than the other, okay? So just, just go with it, all right? <laughs> okay, let's see what wants to come up for you here. Let's see. This will be the first half of July too, okay? So you've got, you're balancing something, okay? This is about duality. So I really feel that you're kind of balancing things out a little bit. Now, for some of you, it could be emotions uh, versus, you know, uh, the intellect for some of you. But I do feel that there's some sort of balancing act that you're doing in terms of a, a situation or a relationship of some sort. The Two of Pentacles is uh, Earth Energy. Let's see what else wants to come through for you. Emperor Energy. This has been a popular card. It's come out uh, for uh, Scorpio and also Aquarius. So do check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, guys. Uh, we get the Emperor. This is about, you know, putting in solid structures in place, healthy boundaries. Uh, you know, this is about, you know, making good, solid decisions uh, and being very structured. Uh, but this is talking about, too, is that you need those structures in place to balance things out, okay? Um, could be dealing with an Aries, or you might have Aries within your chart as well, but it brings about the stability that's necessary for the balancing to take place, if that makes sense, okay? But that's what's coming through here. Major kind of card, too. So um, let's see what else. Where you at? Queen of Swords. Okay, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might have uh, a, an air sign around you. Uh, what's interesting is... Uh, you know, she's no nonsense. I mean, she, she really wants to negotiate and she will and she'll work with you, but she'll cut things out too. Uh, now, for many of you, you're taking on this energy because again, in terms of balancing things out in a relationship or situation, you got to put some structures in place and cut out what's not working and negotiate and compromise, right? That's what, you know, the relationships are kind of all about and nothing's ever stays stagnant because energy is always moving. So for some of you, that could very much well be the case. Uh, you know, the Queen of Swords is using that, you know, a little bit more of the intellect there too okay so that's what i feel you might be taking on that energy as well um uh yeah it could be that could be the case too okay or there might be you know an air sign around you okay uh let's see what else it really thinks intellectually right it's really focusing on that but uh again wants fairness too very much wants fairness and uh you know she's of authority you know she definitely wants fairness and, and will work with you on that but uh sure enough if it if it's something that's really doesn't seem to be fair, you know, she'll definitely cut yeah, cut it out. Okay. What do we get? There's a lot of people here, Capricorns, a lot of people. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. 
We got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, and we've got an Emperor here. We have got, you know, I feel really feel that we've got, uh, you know, more than one person. And maybe that's why the balancing needs to kind of, uh, something needs to be balanced out a little bit more. I, I feel that there's two people here, okay? There's two queens, okay? There's two queens, and, and you got one guy, one here. And I'm just, I'm using that just because of the illustration in the cards. But I do feel that... Um, uh, if, if it's, if it's not, you know, three people in this, it's about being, uh, very careful about where you're putting your money in terms of balancing things out as well as your love life. So it's life and love and money and all that. It's, it's balancing all of that out right here. Uh, and, uh, but if it is three people, um, it is an earth sign and an air sign, uh, is what I feel here. Uh, and, uh, it could be another earth sign and then someone who also has got, uh, air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's what I feel. Okay. So that's, what's coming through. I do want to pull something on, um, on, um, what is this? Um, what is this, uh, where you're at right now in terms of this situation? Cause this is interesting because the queen of pentacles is very careful of where they put things and how they do things. So, uh, yeah, it could be, could be, you know, for some of you, it could be just balancing out, but anything else we need to know about? purification this is about going through some sort of rejuvenation okay and in terms of balancing the situation out so this is about purification okay i'm going to be careful in showing you this here but this is what i see here there's been purification and this is about a 32 card scene it's fives are about you know some sort of change or some sort of adversity that was taking place that definitely needed some sort of emotional cleaning okay and and the emotional cleaning is going to is going to balance you out a little bit. So in a relationship or situation, it needs to be there's some sort of purification, a cleansing of emotions, so it can bring in forth some sort of rejuvenation. Okay, um, I'm surprised I don't see the star card here. Okay, but this is very similar to the star card. It's almost like what I feel here. Okay, uh, kind of similar, but it's a purification process. So there's going to be maybe a balancing, uh, letting go of one so something can be balanced is kind of what I feel here, Capricorn. But that's what I see here, all right? Anything else that wants to come through for you here? What is it that you need to surrender? What do you need to surrender? Wow. Okay, Capricorn, this is about obsessive thinking, okay? If it's about a person that you're obsessing about in like a situation or a dilemma, um, you know, over, it wants you to hand it over to spirit about this. Quit obsessively thinking of it. It wants you to purify yourself, right? Very much purify yourself. And, uh, it wants to stop obsessive thinking because it's not, you know, um, it, it, when you are able to surrender to obsessive thinking, then what happens is that you make way for a lot more, uh, bringing in of clarity. There's a lot more clarity that can come through and you can even solve the situation. You could solve the issue immediately. Okay. So this is about, if you're obsessing about a person or a situation that needs to be surrendered and needs to be handed to the universe, ask the universe for guidance, ask for, you know, purification of that and said, I can't handle this. I've done what I can here. And, and that's what it wants you to do here because you've done all you can. And, and now it's time for the universe to step in and help you here. Okay. So that's going to be very, very key. Okay. Um, anything else that wants to come through in terms of where you're at right now. Okay. So that might resonate with some of you. And then you can actually begin to open up some fresh energy and be able to explore. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. You can explore your, you know, explore, you know, the opportunity uh, with another, right? So this is just explore, you know, explore your love life and, and, and be able to open up some fresh energy. So you, you have uh, some room to be able to do that. Okay. Let's take a look at this other person over here. Let's take a look here and see what's going on. And guys, please like subscribe and note your comments. I certainly appreciate it. It definitely supports my channel. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's see this other person. King of swords. Okay. Interesting. So, you know, you got the queen of swords here and then you got the king of swords here. Okay. Again, might be dealing with a, an air sign over here. Uh, and this is person of, it's focused really on clear thinking and intellect, uh, really focus on making quite decisions and especially in their communication there that way. Okay. So the king of swords is coming through here. Where are they at? Hierophant. So this is about them. Um, this could be about marriage, 
but it also could be them, you know, giving guidance right here or receiving guidance, okay? But Hierophant also talks about some sort of marriage too. It's a five card, which means there's some sort of adversity as it pertains to marriage as beliefs, tradition, that type of thing. So there could be some sort of dynamic that this person is going through um, as to what their belief system is pertaining to marriage, tradition, and that type of thing. Maybe pertaining to this uh, romantic situation here, okay? But they got the Hierophant, Major Arcana card. Anything else that wants to come through? Yeah, this is a Six of Pentacles. This is about balancing of the scale. So like you, as you are balancing over here, they too are balancing. Now maybe they're balancing, getting help from someone to balance things out, or they're helping someone. So they could be receiving the help, um, you know, the, the, um, this is a, a hand up, not a, not a, a hand out, uh, or they could be offering to someone to balance the scales out. So they could, you know, definitely, uh, and this is a Taurus Capricorn Virgo type energy too. So leveling out the skill. So you might be, this person might be helping someone out, perhaps you or, or vice versa, or, or just helping someone out. Uh, that's what I see here. And it's, it's about growth, about you know, allowing people to grow, right? It's a growth mindset. Anything else? Yes, it, it, they're going on a brand new beginning. So they've had a lot of growth. They're starting on a brand new beginning is really what I see here, uh, Capricorn. It's, I, this, this person, now this person might be a little younger um, um, or they're, they're actually just starting on a brand new beginning, okay? And that's what I see here for them. And anything else in terms of where they're at right now wants to come through. Wow, you know who got this one? Who got this one? Um, oh, I think it was... Um, I think it was Scorpio. Uh, you might have to check it, but this is intuitive communication. This is about listening to the whispers of their heart. This is about them truly understanding and, and knowing that their heart has a lot of information to give them and, uh, and to understand their intuition and to take time to perhaps get out in nature, listen to the earth, listen to the pulse and the energy of the universe and nature that brings them closer to their intuition where they can start getting the guidance, those whispers that want to come through, uh, especially as it pertains to a new beginning. It's a 43 card. This is about having faith that their intuitive communication is going to lead them on the right path in this person, place, or thing here. Um, I will pour, pour, um, pour one of these cards here that I think that's going to help as well. Let's see what that is. Yeah, they've got a wake-up call, a brand new beginning. Yeah, their intuition probably spoke to them in terms of a relationship or situation, but they've got a brand new beginning. Um, yeah, a brand new beginning. Um, it's coming through here. Very, very beautiful, okay? What is it um, that they uh, need to... Um, yeah, what is it that they need to surrender at this time? What is that... Yeah, what is it that they need to surrender at this moment? Just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, what is it? The fear of change. Yeah, we just, you know, I don't know, we talked about that, you know, especially at the beginning where it talks about, you know, the, 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 the you know, changing, um, you know, you can, you, every time you take action, you get rid of fear because action and fear can't coexist. Okay. So it's all about taking action. And before you know it, you take one baby step at a time, you've got, you're, you're, you've accumulated this and you keep going. And you're like, wait a minute. What, what's that back there? I, I didn't, I don't see fear. You know, it's kind of that type of thing. So they're surrendering to this fear of change that they, they are, um, they need to be, re they're being reminded that they're cared about all the time, whether they're afraid to change, you know, their job, their health or a relationship. This is saying is that they need to, um, uh, you know, or if, if, you know, it's, they're going to, they, they need to have faith that all is well. So for those of you that might resonate to this side, just remember and note below, I have faith that all is well. And note that in the comments below because that embeds that in your energy and puts that out that you know all is well. And that starts reverberating, uh, you know, the fact of, 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 you know, from the inside out starting to work on getting rid of fear and then, of course, taking action. So this is just, this is about a fear of change, okay? So a brand new beginning that they're having, a wake up in terms of a relationship or situation. Let's go back over to you and what is helping you? What is helping you here? What is it? The King of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius type uh, energy. And this is either you taken on that passionate energy, that visionary. Some of you might be business owners and moving forward passionately as, you know, as an entrepreneur. Uh, so what is working for you is that moving forward passionately and taking authority in terms of that. And what else? The queen of wands. You guys, do you see this thread here? It's so amazing. So we get the, um, we get like the, uh, we get like this, this king and queen of swords, right? 
uh, excuse me, King and Queen of Wands. We just got that just now. And then we've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, right? We've got a lot of power players here. You know this is a reading for Capricorn. We've got all these power players in here, right? <laughs> so guys, really what I feel is what is working for you is that you might have a spiritual person that you go to. Somebody you might get advice from. She's very confident. She's very, she's spiritual and very creative. It's very dynamic too. She's got her own business, always focused on the light, can create things like that, right? Okay, different type of energy, but very fiery energy. Um, this is beautiful. She wants it. She creates it. And she's got the confidence to do so. You you put that with, you know, if you're feeling this queen, this king of wands here and you're in that kind of energy, um, you know, this is a match here. So vice versa too. Okay. So, you know, keep in mind, they're both a, a great match. It could be that you're coming on it, coming, uh, you know, towards someone that you can have a business with, create synergy with. You're both like that. You're both you know, you know, just rainmakers, right? You make some changes and, you know, put sexes aside, you know, male or female. I feel this is a couple for you here. I feel this is you and someone else. And that's exactly what I feel. Fire energy and moving forward. And that's what you got going for you is, is helping and motivating, firing each other up. This is really beautiful. Um, and, uh, yeah, what is, what is, um, the, uh, best way to move forward? Best way to move forward magician energy look at this taking action okay so in this relationship or situation is about taking action having all the resources necessary you got everything you got everything that's ready to go and you you just about you know this is about moving forward and taking action again you know that's what's going to help this person in the fear of change that's what's going to get of this you know uh, uh surrendering obsessive thinking and you know, asking for guidance and using the energies, uh, you know, of the the heavens and the earthly plane, and uh, combining them and making it happen, and, and taking action. And what better? This is a power couple that's ready to take action. So you might be coming together with someone, and maybe working together with someone, coming in partnership and love with someone is what I feel. So yeah, that's what I think here. Um, what do you? Why do you need to trust your gut? Why do you need to trust your gut moving forward? What does it say here? Ah, if you trust your gut, it helps you lead with your light and dark side much better. And it's about, you know, using uh, the spiritual guidance to balance things out. Again, more balancing that's coming through, right? Balancing the light and the dark, balancing here too as well. So this is a major kind of card. This is about moving forward and uh, definitely driving. Some of you might be getting a new car. It's a seven cards about having faith and moving forward that things can change. Um, yeah, this is putting you in the driver's seat of making a change in your life or in your love life and having faith that you can make that happen, that it's going to come. Okay. And that's just, that, that is really just, uh, you know, when you get rid of any sort of obsessive thinking, you hand it over to the divine, they're going to help you even solve the problem, you know, so there's going to, it's going to help you tremendously. So, uh, anything else is why you need to trust your gut because it puts you in charge. Anything else? You want to trust your gut because it's going to might might be about um, something that you've invested in that doesn't that you're walking away from. This is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces type energy, walking away from something you put a lot of investment in, and this is basically saying you knew it was in your best interest to walk away because it puts you back in charge of your life, in charge of your love life too. Okay, that's interesting. That's which and it's an eight card, which is about change. It's a it's about change. It's you know it's about uh, yeah definitely going on change and creating balance right here we go again with more of this uh, uh, um, uh, you know the uh, infinity symbol so it brings the parts the change that you need to create your magic you know that's what I'm seeing so I've seen Capricorn it's interesting okay um, now what does this other side need to trust your gut wow they need to trust their gut and and because it's going to resurrect them it's going to actually bring some sort of resurrection it's going to help them. And it's helped guide them. The angels are there to guide, to bring in assistance and help to resurrect the situation, whatever that looks like. And I really believe that it's this brand new beginning. It's brought in a wake up call, like the sound of the trumpets bring in a wake up call for this brand new beginning. OK, and it's time to, that they start listening to uh, their, their, their the whispers of the heart, because that's what's going to really, really help them get rid of any sort of fear of any sort of change. So it could have been a, a change in a relationship here. OK, it could have been the case this person's, you know, kind of a little bit afraid in terms of moving forward so but but uh you know i really feel that they are uh resurrecting themselves and they're moving forward and getting the guidance and they're moving out of this so i think that's really really good anything else about trusting their gut yeah they're moving forward they're going to move forward a lot faster in fact um yeah i really feel that they're moving forward a lot faster and it's an eight card again another eight card 
uh, lots of eights here. Uh, but this is talking about, you know, just moving forward a lot faster than they used to before without a lot of uh, hindrance. It's going to be smooth sailing a lot faster with less of work that they typically had uh, had to do with previously is what I feel. OK, so, yeah, that's what I feel here. And, um, you know, something that you need to do moving forward, Capricorn. What is that? Stretch yourself. OK, this is about stretching yourself, right? Uh, this is about, uh, you know, reaching a little bit further than you would typically take something. So if you're looking for a relationship or situation, you know, go outside your boundaries a little bit more, right? We got begin to explore. That's what this, you know, is all about stretching yourself. And I'm sorry for the glare there, guys. I hope you can see that. Yeah, that's what's coming through here. So, so yeah, that's something that you need to do moving forward is stretch yourself in a relationship or situation. Anything else? Revision. This is um, revision of the software that you have in your head. It could be a, a limiting belief, a negative emotion, something that was embedded as a template for you that you now it has it has was a dragon and has kept you down in your love life. But this is saying just a little rewire. We're just going to rewire this a little bit, and and we're going to rewire this in a way that's going to stretch you. Right? I almost feel that there's more wires here that it's 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 stretching. You're going through a rewire. Okay. Can't say that 10 times fast, but you're going through a rewire. <laughs> I don't know why I can't say that. Oh my gosh. Rewire. Okay. If I say it slow, it sounds better. Uh, you got to laugh at yourself. <laughs> Okay, guys, so yeah, you're beginning to explore. You're beginning to explore outside the normal circumstances, right? You're changing, you're thinking a different way of thinking, and it's magical, and it puts you on a beautiful, beautiful path, and it puts you in the driver's seat to do some dynamic things, okay? So especially in your love life and relationships, um, I do want to find out um, something um, that, uh, what is the best advice in terms of moving forward? Best advice in moving forward. <laughs> Keep your vision of life, the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful, Capricorn. This is what you want. This is what you get. Keep your vision alive, okay? This is happy ever after. This is happy family life, okay? Now, it's not to say it's not without any challenges. It's just saying emotional fulfillment. This is a 10 reaching that. And, and the, your advice is to keep your focus on the prize, okay? Keep your focus on the prize, all right? Uh, let's see uh, what is this that this other person wants to say to you. Well, let that come out, okay? Wow, this other person wants to say we come from different worlds. Interesting. Now, that's on their shadow side. Anything else that they want to come out and say to you? Anything else that they're feeling? You make me feel bad about myself sometimes. Okay. Um, okay. Anything else that wants to come through here? Let's see what else. You're so beautiful to me. Wow. Wow, guys, this is really beautiful. Um, anything else that wants to come through? I found safety in the silence between us. Maybe because there's been a distance between you, there's been silence between you that, that this person has found safety. What is it that you are feeling about them? Let's see, take a look, Capricorn. What is that? No one loves me like you do. Ooh, wow. Wow, this is a good connection here. What else? It's easier to be in a superficial relationship than with you. So you're both are kind of feeling that and that shadow side. It's like that silence between you. Um, it's, it's, it's easier to be in a superficial relationship than with you. Anything else? I want you to believe in me again. Wow. So maybe there, there, you know, there is room for a resurrection. I won't lie. Okay. There is something that's coming up and there is communication coming through. Uh, and there is an opportunity here. Now that could go for some of you. So, um, there is that, but I do want to find out, uh, what is, what actual advice is best for you? This is just for you from the lover's oracle. I want to see what advice, uh, if for those of you that would want to make this move forward, what would the advice be for that? For those of you that want to make this partnership work forward, move forward, what, what is the advice? Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Wow. Okay, so for those of you that want to make it happen, this is what you need to do, okay? That's what's coming through, okay? Now, for those of you that don't want to make it work, then what is the best advice for you to move forward, okay? What is that, Capricorn? Here it is. Here it is. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this, and they will physically manifest. Do you remember at the end, this is your advice card? Remember so you said to keep that vision alive? Here it is, is confirmation, okay? So if you need confirmation, here it is, guys. 
and the sun is shining through here, you know, so sorry for the lighting, but uh, there's lots of rays of sunshine shining on this. So that's what I see. So note your comments below, guys. I would love to know how this resonates, and I look forward to seeing you next time, and until then, namaste.